Good morning, I hope everybody is okay this morning. Um, as promised, I'm coming to you from my kitchen, which is kind of strange, um, but I've got a couple of things to show you today um, that I uh, is important when it comes to your GCSE. Um, the first thing that we are going to do, um, or that I need you to prepare for, if you have the things available, um, is for an experiment on enzymic browning. Now, the recipe that I'm going to do with you this morning um, is going to be a Dorset apple cake. Um, the reason why I'm doing that this morning um, is because we noticed, or I noticed yesterday, that I've got a lot of apples left in my fridge um, that need using up. Um, so I had a look to see what recipe I could use um, and an area that is really important for you to really understand uh, when it comes to GCSE is enzymic browning. Um, so using apples is a perfect opportunity to show you that as well so before you start the actual baking part of this morning um, i would like you to prepare these things if you have them available if you don't just let me know and i can get some things um some pictures and things sent to you but i think it's most important if you've got them available and your parents allow it for you to experience this yourself okay so um i've prepared ready um to go with I'm using the apple cores. Now, um, in the experiments and things that you see on uh, the internet, they use pieces of apple, but we don't want to waste anything, and which is why I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do this now, um, while I'm using apples in a recipe. So I've got everything set up ready. So enzymic browning is a chemical reaction that occurs when the enzyme inside of the fruit or vegetable cells come into contact with oxygen. So when you cut into the fruit, like an apple, you break some of those cells, and when they come into contact with oxygen, a reaction happens, and the fruit starts to turn brown. That is called enzymic browning. So to experiment if there's any way that we can cover those cells and prevent the enzymic browning from happening too quickly, um, is to use some different things um, to cover that cut apple. So um, uh, you will need a control sample, okay? That has got nothing in it at all. Um, you have got one that you're gonna cover with cling film, one that's got 100 milliliters of water in, you've got one with five tablespoons of lemon juice in it, another one where you've got 100 milliliters of water and a tablespoon of sugar, one with 100 milliliters of water and a tablespoon of salt, um, I've put five tablespoons of vinegar in that one, and the final one is 100 millilitres of water um, and a tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda. Now, I am going to use uh, the apple cores left over from when I prepared ready for your recipe, and in the time it's taken me just to kind of get myself set up and ready, they've already started to turn slightly brown, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Okay, so you'll be able to do this a lot quicker than me. Um, now, what I want you to do um, is you're going to uh, write a hypothesis, and a hypothesis is just your prediction about what you think is going to happen. Which one of these things do you think may slow down or prevent the enzymic browning from happening? So, just using the apple cores, so we've got no wastage at all. I'm going to pop one into my control, so I'm going to get all that water off there and put that into the control. That's got nothing on it now. Again, um, the one that's going to have the cling film on, I'm just going to pop that in there with the cling film over the top, um, just to stop the oxygen from getting in, just make sure that's a nice tight seal. The next one, which has just got the water in, nice and easy, just transfer one to the other. Um, my one with lemon juice, I'm going to pop in there and cover with the lemon juice, just give that a, um, a swirl. Uh, the next one that has my 100 millilitres of water and a tablespoon of sugar, I'm just going to pop that in there. Um, and then the next one which has got 100 millilitres of water and a tablespoon of salt, that's going in there. Uh, the next one I have got my um, tablespoons of vinegar, that's going to go in there, I'm just going to give that a coat um, if you don't quite manage to coat it just by swirling it around get a clean spoon um, and then just make sure that it's completely covered in the vinegar same with the one that's got the lemon juice in it as well and the final one which is 100 millilitres of water and a tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda I'm just going to pop that in there as well okay 
Now, what you're going to do is you're going to set a timer on your phone, or you're going to just keep an eye on the time, um, and you're going to check these at 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and 15 minutes, um, and see what has happened. Have any changes occurred? Has that browning process slowed down? You could already see that mine were um, starting to turn slightly brown when I put them in. So I'm going to have to take that into consideration when I am writing up my results um, to find out what has happened with those. But I've got all of mine in a line now and I'm going to check on them in 5 minutes, 10 minutes and 15 minutes. Okay, so I've got my control sample that's got nothing in it. I have got my um, piece of apple core that's got the cling film over it. I've got one that's got 100 millilitres of water in it. I've got one with five tablespoons of lemon juice. I've got one with 100 millilitres of water and a tablespoon, or a dessert spoon in my case, of sugar. Um, one with 100 millilitres of water and salt. One with uh, five tablespoons of vinegar. And one um, with 100 millilitres of water and a tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda. And I'm gonna check on those in five minutes, 10 minutes and 15 minutes. I'm looking for the enzymic browning, um, which just to recap, is a chemical reaction that occurs when the enzyme inside of the fruit or vegetable cells come into contact with oxygen and that fruit starts to turn brown. Okay, is there anything I can do to prevent that from happening? Um, and then I will send you out a, a PowerPoint slide with some information for you to fill out. Um, if you don't have any of these things available, please do not go out and get them. Just do the ones that you have um, things for in your cupboard at home already. The most important one will be the control sample so you can compare against the rest. Uh, like I say, I'm using apple core to prevent any wastage. And I'm going to use the rest of that apple in the recipe that I'm going to bring to you in just a moment for Dorset Apple Cake. So I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to check on it again in about three or four minutes time for that first check. Okay, speak to you all soon.